In this common watercolor tutorial, we'll be creating an acorn pattern bookmark. Learn how to place objects to create an equal pattern. Your painting doesn't have to become a masterpiece. It's all about enjoying the painting process. For this painting, you need a rectangle shaped piece of paper, masking tape and a round size 8 and a round size 0 brush. Anything similar is perfectly fine too. Today we'll need the colors raw sienna, red brown, olive green and taupe. For most of my paint shades I used half water, half paint. We start this painting process by applying masking tape on the edges of the watercolor paper. Decide how much white space you like to have on the outsides and apply the tape. Remember, acorns come in all sizes and shapes, so mistakes don't exist. Also, for this bookmark you can randomly combine your colors for the nuts and its cupule, which makes it even more fun to paint. It's time to get started with our first acorn. Get your bigger round brush and pick up some paint. You can follow my lead or pick another color of your liking. Now paint an oval shaped nut with a pointy end. Leave some white space for a more realistic look. Also, drop some extra paint in the nut to create a more lively feeling. Move on to the next acorn. Pick another color and let the acorn point a different way. Repeat the previous steps for your next acorn while changing the shapes and sizes of the nuts. Let some acorns touch the masking tape. And make sure the distance between the acorns is similar. Equally distribute the colors over your paper. Sometimes it's helpful to literally take a step back to see what color or shape is still missing at a certain spot on your paper. In total, I painted 8 acorns on my bookmark, but you can paint as many as you like. Once the nuts have dried, it's time to move on to the cupules. These are the little hats of the acorns. Paint the cupules with your size 8 round brush in a color that contrasts with the color of the nut. Let the cupules overlap the nuts a little bit. And then finish each cupule with either a tiny or a bigger stem. Use the tip of your bigger round brush and apply a little pressure when painting these stems. Add a shadow under the cupules with a darker shade of the color of the nut by painting a thin line. Take a step back and try to find out where on your paper you still have too much white space left. You can fill up the white spaces with extra stems, cupules or nuts. Paint whatever you feel like. For the final step, we'll need our size 0 round brush. We're going to paint the details on the cupules by applying the wet on dry technique. So make sure your cupules are dry. Add tiny lines or V-shapes with the tip of your small brush. Try to apply little pressure to your brush to create thin lines. Take the stem of the cupule as a reference point if you decide to paint lines on your cupules. Let all lines come together at the stem. You can also leave your cupules plain. It's your piece of art and you're in control. 